This video will show how to edit report templates. I've added a couple phased array probes and a pair of TOF probes to the workspace for this demonstration. Before generating a report, it is a good idea to enter all supporting information into the document and instrument info tables. One of the first things you may want to do is replace the default logo with your own. The first place to do this is in Tools, Options, and Report. You can import an image here and it will be the new default logo. You may want to resize the image in another program prior to importing. The second place to change the logo on the report is in the document info. Any image here will override the logo and options, but starting a new workspace wipes the information from here and the default logo will be used. Now that we have the desired logos, let's look at the template options. ESBeam tool comes with three templates in metric or imperial. They are scan plan, Technique Basic, and Technique Detailed. Before editing, familiarize yourself with the available templates and choose one to start with to minimize the required editing. For this example, I will start with a scan plan template and we'll build from there. To make changes to the template, select Edit Template. On the left are the Report sections. At the top is the Editor Toolbar. In the center is the Report Work Area. And at the bottom are the available fields for the currently selected report section. If you are familiar with HTML, you can make your changes to the code, and there is also a preview tab to check your edits as you make them. I'm going to add an approved by field to my scan plan edit. First make room for the added text, then locate the approved by field at the bottom and drag and drop it where you want it. Anything with double brackets around it will not appear as the text displayed, but as the information it represents from either document information or instrument information or from the workspace. So we have to add a heading. We can also add a place for a signature and a date. Selecting the preview tab, we can see the changes made. Now I'll modify a field in the report section PA probe. Here it states whether or not a probe is mirrored. I don't need that, so I'm going to remove it. Even though we have two phase array probes in the workspace, they both are not shown. In design mode, you will see the template that will be used for all phase array probes, and any changes will apply to all phase array probes in the report. So back to preview mode, we can see the mirror field is gone for both probes. Looking at the TOF transducer, I would like these table headings to be more specific. Going back into design mode, select UT transducers from the report section and add element to these table headings. Go back into preview and check the changes made. When you have made your edits, you can save this report as a new template. Select Save and change the name. It will be added to the list of templates on the left. To copy your report into a Word document, use the Copy button at the top of the screen. ESBeam Tool reports use multiple bitmaps overlaid to improve resolution for printing or viewing. If you highlight and copy with the right-click menu, these bitmaps will be separated when pasted to a document. Let us know if you have any questions or suggestions at info at eclipsescientific.com.